Hi guys, uh, welcome to another dub techno session where I'll be making some FM dub chords with operator. Uh, this Ableton live set will be available to download via my Patreon and there's a link in the comments. So I'm starting out programming some chords here and um, I'm just going to go for like a minor triad chord, which is fairly typical for dub techno. I'm just going to shift and down a couple of octaves, pressing shift and the down arrow. So over here, if you change it to the T-shaped algorithm, and then shift oscillator B up to 2, the envelope a bit, go into the, loop, the looping section and um, then mess about with the envelope in oscillator A. to automate the decay there on the amp envelope. So I'm just recording in some automation. Now if I go into the clip, I can unlink that, adjust the loop length region and we have polyrhythmic automation. Now in oscillator C here, I'm just going to leave it as a sine wave, but pitch the course transposition up a bit. And it adds a nice top layer to the sim. And again, mess about with the envelope. And go into the looping section again and play around with the timing there until you find something which sounds good. Um, just adds a ton of movement to your synth. So over here in the tone parameter, I'd like to modulate that and I'm going to do that via the LFO. And it kind of works as a filter and it, it brightens or, or darkens the sound. mess about with the filter, sh uh, the LFO shapes to come up with uh, an interesting rhythmic modulation or just leave it as a sine wave, it's completely up to you. Just turn the spread up a bit and you can mess about with the time parameter which will adjust all the envelopes at once. So now I want to put some effects on there and I'm going for the delay. And I'm just shaping the envelope again in, in oscillator A. And now I want to put some reverb on there. And I'm turning all the filters off and changing it to high quality mode and turn, turning the decay up a bit. Time for some OTT because I find it adds a nice bit of sizzle to the top end of my dub chords. 
and you can mess about modulating the filters in there but for now I'm just going to leave it as it is. So the synth already has a nice bit of movement but I'd like to add more via the filter. So I'm just going to go into the MIDI clip automation editor here and highlight a section. Right click and drop a sine wave shape in there. And it's just like adding an LFO to your filter but just, just doing it via the clip modulation. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time, peace.